you can change how you can change the uh, look of it by going to terrain underneath your environment tab and then going to detail layers view distance ratio and turning it up and that'll make some of that'll make your terrain look a lot more clear at a distance I'm just gonna leave it at one for this so I can get this tutorial pretty quick and let's see let's say that I only want to put this texture this like soil texture on steeper cliffs I will select a layer and then hit type in like the slope I will hit 50 or 40 0 being it'll go on flat terrain 90 being it'll go on to a completely vertical piece of terrain 40 is about uh, not what I'm looking for let's go for about 30 maybe there we go still looks kinda crappy but this can be used in, for various things actually I might change the layer is that see and that's another example you can add layers to layer and layer this one once again doesn't look very good but it works altitude means that it will only work at a certain altitude so let me set this back to zero let me go to the modify tool I'm gonna find the height of this so 96 then I put into my layers name 96 and it will paint over everything at or above 96 you can also do the same with by lowering it and changing it to like 98 paint over this and that's a zero paint over it and then you will just get a thin stripe around your layers around that height okay let me get into how to name your textures so you don't so you can keep them organized you go to your textures in the terrain tool you can get rid of some of these that are not needed and then to rename them just double click on the layer drag over it hit delete hit backspace or delete or whichever one you like to hit and then name it plains grass or whatever you have it set as and then it will change in here and you'll have it all organized If you would like for me to go more in depth, tell me, and I can. This is just one of my other simple tutorials that I was planning on doing. And, well, Killer for Money, signing out. Thanks for watching.